world. <laughs> no big story telling today. I'm just going to introduce myself. We're going to get right into work. My name is Michelle Parsons Vargas. I am coming to you live from my living room. I created Polykinetics Tempo Fitness back in January 14, 2014. Whew. After I finally hit my rock bottom. The only problem was anything on the market that current time didn't, didn't suit my abilities and I was, too risk, I was too scared of getting hurt. So I wanted to create something that was safe, effective, and efficient. I also struggle with a severe mental illness. So I use fitness to help me process a lot of the symptoms that are associated with mental illness. Fatigue, um, general angst, anxiety, stuff like that. Yes. So I channel all that energy into my fitness and I chose Tempo Fitness to do this. I've been doing this for almost 10 years. I've lost over 100 pounds doing Tempo Fitness. Thank you, thank you. So it is absolutely effective if you do it properly. A lot of things out there today that are not showing this properly or not explaining it unless you pay $80. You don't have to do that. Just come live with me every single day, like today, and we'll do Tempo together. All right, going straight for the jugular. So if you followed me yesterday, you're gonna know exactly what we're doing today because guess what, repeat. Now you would think doing the same workout will not gain you any more results than what you did yesterday. That's not true with tempo. With tempo, as long as you stay on the beat, you can do the same move to the same song until you're built up, which means you're bored. You feel nothing, no burning sensation at all. Then you're ready to advance to a new level, go next level. Everyone usually asks, what's next level? That depends on your goals. And what you want if it is to have more endurance it's going to be time if it's more muscle mass it's going to be weight just depends on what you want tempo to do for you but that's the beauty of it you can actually customize it in real time as you go along with me by doing small little change ups for example the first move we're going to do is this one a bilateral shoulder press overhead to a two count tempo one two one two if this is too intense for you come here transverse plane if this is too intense, lean slightly forward, come down. This is where you live. Good morning, everybody. I see you all popping in. Thank you very much. So, same thing with tempo speeds. We don't just have two count. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two. There are actually up to five different tempo speeds you can choose from. Did you know that? We have that two count which is the two count standard, most common count in all of everything. Then there's the four count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is a four count standard. A slow extended four count. One, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. That one also has an eight count, a slow extended eight count. You just count to eight, up, eight down, simple. Then there's the standard eight count, bounce, pulse, whatever the hell you want to call it. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two, one and two and one and two, one and two and one and two. So that's the eight counts. So we actually have up to five different tempos. So just change those up if you need to. Uh, speed them up, slow it down. All right, going straight into it. Follow along, take as many breaks as you want or need, okay? Let's do this. I was dancing before I went live. So I'm gonna do a two count. Standard overhead, eight pounds of weight resistance. See how long I last. Go. Two, one, two, one, two. Already have a pop in my wrist, in my elbow. Good, those pops are actually very good. I move my legs to help me stay on that beat. Because after about 35, 45 seconds, it starts to burn real bad. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can travel, you are not a tree, you can move. Focus is on the upper body. Dancing will help mitigate the pain. So will singing. But you need to breathe, so I don't recommend singing.
elbows in if you need to. This is one of those small modifications that are your choice. Now I'm feeling it really good in those triceps. Woo! Just like Einstein said, it's not that I'm any smarter. I just stay with problems longer. And that's what told me to use time. Okay, Woo. moving on. Now we're going to the core. Straight for the jugular, eight count. Come on. If you cannot do the eight count, this is very hard. My daughter is starting to get her sidelines. She is so proud. And I am super proud of her too. So as I'm lifting my chest up, pulling the shoulders back just slightly. I'm feeling a lot of heat up in my shoulders as well. Are you? <laughs> Arms are still burning from the last one. Just follow through, get through the song. That's all you got to focus on. Yes, I breathe on the beat. Done. 
Stay simple. Moving on. Bicep curls. 20 pounds weight resistance. Weight is your choice. The extension is also your choice. So here's a full. Right? Full. Partial.
comes forward, pause. Let's see what I'm going after. Squeeze, butt, lift, up. Squeeze, butt, lift, up. Squeeze, butt, lift, up. Support from core.
When we improve ourselves, we raise our frequency. We raise that energy. And that light becomes brighter and brighter and brighter. What's attracted to the light, y'all? Everything. So I'm really just taking my intensity nice and easy. For this one slow extended four count arm pullbacks oh fine 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 <sighs> anytime slow extended four count means i get to pick up these bad boys thank you everybody who's hanging in there with me through my crappy internet connections and i told you always through at least one every single live show at least one time my electronics will screw up i don't necessarily take it as a bad thing that's why i'm not cursing screaming and yelling because funny enough what we were just talking about just a moment before it Phone started to, started to stall. We were talking about energy and how you're attracting energy. That doesn't always mean the living, y'all. Okay, so be aware of your of your impact. Notice that we are always giving out signals, if you will, even if we don't want to. They're called thoughts, and uh, yeah, sometimes they're very intrusive. So this is generating more of a positive energy in a very physical way. So people meditate. Think of this as Kinetic meditation, meditation and movement. All right, let's do this. Whew. All right, nice deep, deep breath in. I'm in never a hurry to kick my own ass. One, two, three, four, down. Two, three, four. Oh, pull back, look at me, huh? One, two, some different motion. More chest, more shoulders, less biceps. Two. Three, four. Now I like standing straight, but if you're just starting, lean forward. Or if you're using particularly heavy weights, so just protect that back. This is a full extension here, partial. Partial. See the difference? And guess what? That little difference makes a whole other level of it. What the fuck? So, feel your body as it builds. Same principles as Pilates, same principles as HIT, same principles as fucking yoga. 
only a little different way. Woo Stay on that beat. Perfect. It has to be progressive. Mm. Okay. Now we're going to. Now this is supposed to be an exercise ball, EVCC. I put two count, but I'm actually going to switch that up <sighs> to a slow extended four count for the sake of my stomach. <laughs> Still going to be challenging, just not as fast. Okay. Here we go. for the core. If you cannot do this from a laying down or sitting down position, this is where you're going to be at. The chair, sit on the edge, lean back, hold on to that chair. One, two. Take your legs off the ground. This is where you are. If you don't want to get on the ground, perfectly fine. Nobody understands more than me. No one. I create an entire method from not getting on the floor. So, do it from the chair. It's completely your preference. I like the stronger core engagement from laying a little bit more horizontal. But again, your decision. Let's do this.
What you know about rolling down? When your brain goes numb, you can go out and freeze. When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut. One, two, one, two, one, two. exercise. I do not recommend that on the ground for beginners. For beginners, beginners, like first day beginners. Oh my gosh, that hurts. But at the same time, maybe you should. <laughs> because it really hones in the, the, the whole stay on the beat and how incredibly uh, intense that gets over time. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> don't give up. And funny enough, that's exactly what's going through my head. I don't want to talk too, too much. But, woo wee! It's exactly what just just two count, Michelle. Just one, two, one, two. Just stay on the beat. Stay on the beat. Speaking of, this is exactly what we're gonna do next. Two count. One, two. <laughs> Don't give up. Oh. I'm using six pounds instead of my typical eight. Cause never let your ego overrun your ass. You get injured. Just enough to make you sticky. Okay, so transverse. The whole point is trying to keep the nice and parallel and perfectly identical. A little harder to do. of standing eight core or eight count um, because I want my, my uh, heart rate to come down just a wee bit. I'm not in the business of having a heart attack live. I'm good. So this is less intense on my core now than that slow extended for a count. That's why I switched it to this. And then I'm putting forth the minimal amount of effort. I feel a little pudge and a little core crunch. You see, it's extremely minimal. This is what I call a J1. <sighs> Breathing is completely open. As you can see, I can talk freely. 
and not be compromised in any way, shape, or form. I didn't stop the process, I just slowed it down. Slowed it way down. But it's funny, as you go along, you'll feel that you'll have to put forth a little bit more effort because you start to fatigue. And you need a little bit more oomph to keep you going. And that's when your movements begin to grow on the run. out in a sweat so that means you got your cardio muscles are on fire you got your strengthening <clears throat> so that'd be polykinetics any questions comments concerns i'm gonna go ahead and cut from this and then we'll come back and we'll do a q a all right thank you